Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how you can calculate probabilities on the binomial distribution using your Casio FX CG50 graphing calculator. So if you've got a random variable x which represents um, the number of times some event occurs, so for example if I'm flipping a coin some number of times, it could be the number of times the coin is heads. Uh, so if I've got a random variable x and it's modelled by BNP, where n is the number of times it could occur, p is the probability of it occurring, so returning from my flipping a coin example, if I flip the coin 12 times, n is 12, because it could be head 12 times, and p is going to be 0 0.5 or a half, because it is heads half of the time, the other half is 12. So if you've got this situation, the probability of x equaling r will be n choose r, p to the power of r, times 1 minus p to the power of n minus r. So n choose r represents the number of different ways in which this random uh, event could occur r times. P to the power of r is the probability of it happening that many times. And 1 minus p to the n minus r is the probability of it not occurring every other time. Um, if Yeah, so that's how you calculate that probability. But that's a bit, man, uh, a bit long to type in manually. So you can use your CC50 to calculate it automatically. So we're going to go into statistics mode, number two. And then we can click F5 for this distribution. And then I'm going to click F5 again for binomial. You'll see there are other distributions here and more on this page. But we're going to click F5 for binomial. We're then going to select F1 for BPD. Now, at the top here, if this is set to list, you need to click F2 to set it to variable. It should look like this, or something like this. We can then type in X. So X here is actually our, our little R. So return to the uh, flipping a coin example. Let's say we want the probability of there being eight heads when we flip a coin 12 times. The probability of it, of it being a head is half. We can then either scroll down and hit execute, or we can just click execute on anything. And we get our probability, in this case, 0 0.1208496. You can save this into a list by specifying, on this one here, clicking F2, and specifying a list number, such as 1. Then if I click Exit, you'll see the values here. Now, you may also sometimes have to calculate um, cumulative uh, probabilities. So this is where you add up the probabilities of um, the events occurring a number of times either less than or greater than some boundary value. So, for example, um, if it's p of x is less than r, now this is the same as p of x is less than or equal to r minus 1, and we're adding up the probability of this event happening, uh, this random event happening r minus 1 times, r minus 2 times, R minus three times and so on so on so on two times one times and zero times similarly p of x is greater than r it's the same as p is p of x uh is greater than or equal to r plus one and this is the probability of this random event occurring r plus one times plus r plus two times plus r plus three times plus so on so on so on all the way up to n times um and you can also calculate any specific range, so you can have p of x is, uh, p of r is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to r, r plus 5, or, or something like that. Um, you sometimes you need to calculate those, and they can be very long to calculate manually. Uh, so again, we can use our calculator. We're going to hit F5, F5, and this time we'll hit F2 for BCD. Now, for lower, we will place in our lower bound. Now, this only works if it's in this form, less than or equal to. So if you've got it as just less than or greater than, you need to put it into less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Once you've done that, you can put in your lower bound. So um, if we're looking, let's say we want to know, uh, know the number of times or the probability of us getting five heads or less. So our lower bound is zero. Our upper bound will be five. And the other two are saved from when we did BPD, just to find the number of times, the probability of it happening eight times. I'm not going to save this one to a list, and then we click Execute, and we get our probability. Now let's say we want to find the number of times it will happen, um, or it will get between three and five heads. Well, we can set a lower bound of three, and we get that. 
if we want to find the number of times uh, we get three or more heads, we need to set upper to the same value as number 12. And we get that. Okay, so the final thing you may need to do, such as when performing a hypothesis test uh, and finding critical regions, is to know what value of R, or R minus 1 or R plus 1, you need um, to have this probability be above or below a certain value. So for this, we can again go dist, F5, F5 again for binomial, and this time we'll click F3 for inv B or inverse binomial. And we'll set our area to the probability we're aiming for. So let's say we want a probability of less than hmm, 0 0.05. We're doing this 12 times, and uh, P is 0 0.5. And we get an inf of p, uh, of 3, sorry. So, this 3 is actually this r here. So, p of x is less than 3. And this is a bit annoying. Because what we almost always really want is r minus 1. So, if we go out of this and we calculate the cumulative probability with a lower bound of 0 and an upper bound of 3, we'll get a value that is greater than 0 0.05. But we need to do is use 2. And then we get a value less than 0 0.05. So you always need to subtract one or add one. Go one more extreme than what it gives you. Let's say we want uh, a probability of greater than 99% or 0 0.99. Sometimes you get this warning. You can just ignore it. Click exit. And we get our value of 10. So the final thing I want to show off is the sp special distributions mode. So if we click menu to take us back to the main menu and then we go all the way down and select distribution or i uh we get uh this mode and here we can select a number of different distributions although we want binomial so we'll click execute for binomial and this lets us get a visual look at um the distribution like this and uh, it shows us clearly what values we're considering, what probabilities we're considering, and gives us our value. So you can uh, choose which bit of the distribution you want the probability of. So the, the left tail, some bit in the middle, the right tail, or just a specific value. So for example, returning to our coins example, if we're flipping a coin 12 times, and we want the number of times that it is... Um, we, we want to find the probability of it being heads eight times. We can put that in like that. And click execute. And we get our probability. And it shows us visually whereabouts this is in the distribution. If we now have an, uh, a weighted coin, an unfair coin, and we want the probability of heads, and let's say the, prob um, the probability of heads is 0 0.75, and we want to know the probability of getting eight heads, we can run that again. And now we can visually clearly see how the distribution is skewed um and you can change the tail so if you want some bounds in the middle you can set lower and upper bounds like so and execute you can see again um you can alter the value in here by just typing in any, any number let's say nine um, and you can click option as well to change exactly which, uh, what you're, where you're testing. Um, finally, clicking F6 here will give you a bit of detail on what everything means, but it's, it's not anything, I, there's nothing new here that I haven't already covered. Okay, thank you, I hope you find this video useful. Thank you for watching.